Welcome to the VicTech channel with a quick video on how to use your HP all-in-one. This one is actually an NV23. How to use your HP all-in-one desktop, as you can see, as an external monitor for um, your Xbox, PlayStation 4, uh, additional PC, laptop, or any device that has an HDMI out. Now, the only drawback is that this will only work if you have already logged into the operating system in the desktop itself. In this case, it's Windows 10. I haven't tried this in Linux or, uh, I guess, uh, can you install Chrome OS? I'm guessing you can, but for now, let's just say Windows. So in order for this to work, you have to log into Windows, plug in your HDMI cable, and if you notice here at the bottom left corner, it'll say HDMI in. Your mileage may, may vary. Your desktop may have it on this side or somewhere else. Here is the SD card. So when you plug in the HDMI cable, on the bottom you will notice that there's an HDMI uh, sticker with a button. And then that's what you use. You hold it down to, to see. So you hold it down and it'll say nothing. Oh game game mode but since there is no signal since there is no signal it'll go switch back to windows so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cable follow it down and we're gonna plug it see it's unplugged right now we're gonna plug it into the hdmi of this desktop right here you can see it's powered off so i'm gonna plug this in there you go And then I'm gonna I'm gonna power it on. Watch the green light go on. There it is. And as you can see I'm tracing it over. So we just gotta give it a little bit. This machine takes a little bit to fire up. So once the machine starts booting up and you believe there's a signal, it'll only work if it sends or detects a signal from the actual device that it's plugged to. So here we go, I'm gonna push the button. And as you can see, there it is, Windows is booting up. It's ready for login. Now to show you that this is not uh, a dual boot device. There's no uh, uh, dual OS is installed on this device itself. First of all, I'm going to go back to the to the uh, HP itself. I'm going to, and this is a Dell machine. As you can see, it's a Dell. I'm sure Dell and HP never thought that these would be used <laughs> uh, interchangeably. Okay, so to show you, to, to go back to the HP, I'll go and I'll push the button. It'll say PC. I hold it down again, and then it goes. And the reason why I'm making this video was because I was trying to figure out a way how to do this, and there was nothing on on the web, at least that I could find. So now to to go back to the Dell desktop, I'll go back here. HDMI, as you can see, HDMI, let me get some focus on there. Get a focus here. I'm going to hold on the button. It's going to say game mode. It says no video signal detected. And the reason why is if the machine goes to sleep or on standby, it kills the signal to save power. So I'm going to move the mouse. I'm going to hold the button. It's gonna say game mode, and there it is, the game mode. And to show you that this is not a dual boot, I'm gonna unplug the HDMI cable and we're gonna lose the signal, watch this. See, there you go. Signal is gone and it'll revert back to the, the uh, OS on the machine itself. Or at least it should. There, there it is. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slower. I'm not sure if it's because Windows takes a while for it to detect the signal. I'm gonna plug this back in. 
if I try to go into game mode, I'm going to push the button. It'll say game mode, detect no signal. No video detected. But if I plug it in now, I'm going to plug it back in. There's the port. There it is. Now, I'm going to plug it again. I'm going to push the button. There it is. And a separate keyboard just to show you. I'm going to log in, put in the password. There it is. Switch back and forth. Okay, two different OSs. Well, there you have it. So if you have an HP all-in-one, or maybe there's other models out there uh, that are all-in-ones that are not HP, uh, and they have an HDMI in, now you know how to use it as an as a monitor, external monitor for your Xbox, PlayStation 4, laptop, um, additional desktop, without the need to purchase a separate monitor. Um, yeah, the drawback is that you have both of them running. I don't know if this goes into sleep mode or low power mode while, while it's being used as the um, external monitor for an additional desktop. But at least if, if you just need something to check on a machine to work on it, as I uh, have been doing on this one, I've been uh, working for this, working on this for a friend. I needed a monitor. I didn't have one, and that's what I used. So there you have it, folks. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. Post any questions, and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.